What is up, y'all, and welcome to another edition of NBA Top Prize Picks Plays presented by Prize Picks. As always, I'm Cooper Boni for Odd Shopper. You guys can find me on social media at Crash Bets. Just a few bets last night, guys, but managed to go two and one. We missed our Herbert Jones over 20 and a half fantasy score. He would have hit, but had two turnovers that brought him down under that 20 and a half number. We hit Mason Plumley over 11 and a half first half PRA, guys. He smashed that and ultimately smashed the game. So that was a great matchup we chose. Lastly, we took Kyrie Irving over four and a half rebounds. He finished with eight. So a solid night last night, guys. Wish Herb Jones would have hit, but two and one to start the week. Not bad. Obviously, guys, last night, if you're watching that Monday night football game, uh, that's the most important thing right now, guys. We all love sports. We all love gambling, betting, all, all of it. But uh when we're watching these guys that put their bodies on the line every single day, every single night for our entertainment. Yes, they're getting paid, all that stuff. They love the game too. But, you know, we take all this as entertainment. It's just a, you know, it's a realization sometimes when things like that happen. Just be grateful for what you have. Uh, hug your loved ones. You know, anything can happen on any given day, guys. So just wanted to point out before I get into this, the DeMar Hamlin stuff is the most important stuff right now. Uh, I just wanted to put this video out for you guys for some consistency. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the picks for tonight. Uh, if you don't mind, like, subscribe, click notification bell on the Odd Shopper YouTube page. If you guys want to sign up for prize picks, use the link down below. That'll get you a month of free stochastic materials and a free first match deposit up to $100 from prize picks. So as always, highly recommend that offer. Picks for tonight, guys. I just have two because it is Taco Tuesday. You're going to get some random tacos from Prize Picks throughout the day. If you guys aren't familiar with tacos, those are just a discounted plays that Prize Picks gives to us every single Tuesday. They give about three or four a day. So you guys keep an eye on those. First play I want to talk about, though, Jordan Clarkson over seven and a half rebounds plus assist. A few notes here. The Jazz have struggled this season. Obviously, guys, they're 19 and 20. They're 10th in the Western Conference. They just haven't been very good. They've had a few bright spots, though. One of those guys being Jordan Clarkson on the year. Clarkson averaging 8.4 rebounds plus assists per game. His hit rate for this play has been very high when he plays 30 or more minutes. In December, Clarkson played 30 or more minutes 11 times. He recorded 8 plus rebounds plus assists in 8 of those 11 games. So when the minutes are there, we know the usage is always going to be there for Clarkson. Over his last five games, he's gone over this line four times. He's averaged 9.2 rebounds plus assists over those five games. More importantly, guys, that's on 14.4 potential assists slash rebound chances per game. So in those last five games, guys, Clarkson has averaged a combined 14.4 potential assists and rebound chances per game. He played against the Kings just a few days ago, guys. That's who they match up with tonight. He finished with 13 rebounds plus assists. No Colin Sexton for a couple of weeks for the Jazz guys. If anything, that just solidifies Clarkson minutes and usage. He sees a 3% usage bump this year when Sexton sits. Overall, guys, just expecting to see Clarkson with the ball in his hands a lot in this matchup. This contest between the Kings and the Jazz has the highest implied point total sitting at 242.5 and, and the closest point spread of the night. I believe that point spread sits at like 2.5. The second and final play I want to talk about for tonight, guys, is going to be Jalen Williams over 15 and a half points and rebounds. Again, you guys, this is not Jalen, J-A-Y-L-I-N. This is Jalen with an E. I know it gets confusing with the Thunder having two Jalen Williams on their team, but we're going to take Jalen Williams over 15 and a half points plus rebounds. A few notes here, guys. Since the injury to Pokusevski, Jalen Williams has really seemed to step up for this team. He's played in three games since Pokusevski's got injured in those three games. He's recorded... 24, 20, and 20 points plus rebounds. He's been playing around 30 minutes per game in those outings, attempting over 10 field goal attempts per game. He's also had 15 or more points alone in each of those three outings while averaging over 10 rebound chances per game, guys. So scoring alone, Jalen Williams has scored 15 points in each of these three games without Pokusevsky. On top of the 15 points he scored in each game, he's getting 10 rebound chances per game. The Thunder are facing the Celtics tonight, guys. The Celtics are currently giving up over 30 points plus rebounds per game to the power forward position. Robert Williams is questionable tonight for the Celtics. If he sits, that would definitely help with this prop. He is an enforcer down in the paint. It'd be nice to have him sit for this one. However, if he doesn't sit, he's been on a minute restriction anyways, playing around 20 minutes per game. So Jalen Williams would still get the opportunity to see a lot of Al Horford, Grant Williams, even maybe some Sam Hauser down low in the paint tonight. Final note here, guys, was just a comment on the reserves for Oklahoma City. I know they can get weird with their rotation, but they just have other guys behind Jalen Williams and Jalen Williams that aren't great players. Darius Basley, Mike Muscala. These are just players that leave much to be desired whenever they get opportune minutes. 
I like the idea of Jalen Williams sticking around that 30 minute mark, possibly playing even a little bit more if this game remains competitive. That is going to do it for me, you guys. Good luck on your bets tonight. I'll mention one last time. Guys, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, click that notification on the Odd Chopper YouTube page. It helps us. All it does is allow us to provide more free content for you guys. Also, if you have a friend or family member that hasn't taken up this offer on Prize Picks, guys, link down below. Free stochastic materials and a first match deposit up to $100. Good luck with bets tonight, guys. The Jalen Brown taco is live. Over 22 and a half points for Jalen Brown. That is the first taco Prize Picks gave out tonight. All right, guys, I'll be back tomorrow. As always, good luck tonight, and we'll chop it up then. Later.